Hey guys, it's the Ruffled Rabbit, and today we're going to be talking about torpor, or hibernation in hamsters. So this is actually kind of a personal experience for me, because a couple weeks ago, Josephine did go into torpor, and it was very scary, and I didn't really know what to do, and if it wasn't for our other YouTubers' videos, I would have been very lost and terrified. So torpor, by definition, is a state of physical or mental inactivity, which sounds kind of like hibernation. Torpor is actually very different from hibernation. So the first major difference is that torpor is unplanned, hibernation is. So animals that go into hibernation, usually it's a set amount of weeks that they go into sleep, while torpor is very unplanned and just out of the blue. If an animal's body temperature gets too cold, they can go into shock and go into torpor. The main difference between torpor and hibernation is just that torpor lasts only a couple hours at most, and hibernation obviously is weeks or months at a time. first question you might have if you see your hamster is how to tell if your hamster is in torpor or not. So obviously it'll be very disturbing and it will look like your hamster is dead. One way to tell is to just gently scoop up your hamster. If your hamster's limbs are very stiff and it feels like a statue, then your hamster is probably dead. But if your hamster is still very limp and just seems as if he or she is asleep, then that is a very good sign. Another way to tell if your hamster is in torpor or not is to take a spoon and place it close to the hamster's nose. If your hamster is still alive, then you should be able to see their breath on the back of the spoon. So once you've decided if your hamster has gone into torpor, you're going to want to know what to do to wake them back up. So this is actually the, one of the easier parts. First, what you need to do is get your hamster into a warmer room or area, but make sure that you don't heat your hamster up too fast because that can be very harmful. So take your hamster into a warmer area and try to get their body heat back up. The next thing you can do is to cup your hamster in your hands and hold them close to you and share your own body heat with them. Another tool you could use to heat up your hamster is fill a water bottle with warm but not boiling water and wrap it in a cloth or blanket and hold it close next to your hamster so that the heat can seep through to warm up your hamster. If you follow these steps your hamster should wake up within the hour and the only thing that I can tell you besides all this information is to don't stress or be worried. I know I was really scared but it's perfectly normal for a hamster to go into torpor and it happens to a lot of hamsters and your hamster will be fine just don't worry or freak out about it.